Hi, my name's Rachel from the Sydney Olympic Park Authority and we're here talking to people about sustainability in the Food Farm Pavilion of the Sydney Royal Easter Show. And we're really pleased to be supported by some of our partners such as Dr Cameron Webb. What we have here is showcasing some plants that are found around the Sydney Olympic Park site. It's also something that we cover in our school excursions as well, identifying what is in our natural environment. And also the authority has a role in creating habitats for the species of animals that live on site here. This is one of our interactive activities we have here at the show. It's how to build a frog pond. And we bring the kids in and show them all the types of requirements that frogs need to live. So we've got some plants that they like to hide in so nothing eats them. They've also got water that they need and they lay their eggs in the water here. And can you see anything other than a frog? We also have a range of interpretive signs at our display here that highlight the work of the authority. They are around water and catchment management, ecosystem restoration, biodiversity and how we manage it, remediated land management, environmental monitoring and habitat management. So what else can we find? What is that one do you think? Here we've got an activity on water bugs that are found in the freshwater ponds here. The bugs that we find here are indicating how clean the water is and this is just one of the activities that we do here in our education programs at Sydney Olympic Park. What we have here is a dress up as a ranger activity. It's a fun activity that the kids can get involved with and gives them an opportunity to see the roles that the authority offers. For instance, they can put on a pair of binoculars and we tell them about the bird surveys that are done here on site. And they can also see some reptiles on site like the blue tongue lizard. What we have here is a scale model of the Parramatta River catchment. As you can see, as the water's being poured on, everything ultimately ends up, flows down into our creeks and ends up in Parramatta River. This links into the work of the authority in managing the water runoff that we get on site here in the park and how we manage that and also capture it to use in irrigation in the parklands. So as you can see, we pride ourselves on our hands-on, interactive, fun, educational activities. For more information, please visit us online.